All right, guys, it's been a while since I've had a Manta on the channel, so big thanks to Homer for sending in his no-date Ocean King with the red seconds hand. I can't find this exact model on their website anymore, so I think this is a previous model, maybe a limited run or something like that. But if you're not familiar with Manta, they have one of the coolest watch boxes, too, on the uh, micro brand. I don't know if we can really call them a micro brand. They're kind of a boutique now, but... Uh, their full kit, their box, their display, all of that is very well done. This one actually even came with a tool here. It has a sharp fork, and then you can slide that out, and it has a pin. Um, and then you just screw that down to lock her in place. Um, I believe this one came with a NATO. I think this is the factory NATO. They also have a very nice micro cloth, one of the best-looking ones out there. Kind of a little Swiss-made logo down there at the bottom, and then their logo very well done. Let's get into the watch. So, what we have here, previously mentioned, no date. Kind of a fun option with the diver, right? So, 40 and a half millimeter case, 48, almost 49 lug to lug. It's hard to tell because of the way this case shape is, but nice size case. 11.87 thick, flat sapphire crystal with seven layers of anti reflective coating on the underside of it. So, well done there. 20 millimeter lug width, so it's going to be a strap monster. Why you would put it on a strap when you have this amazing bracelet, I don't know. 20 down to 16 on the taper. Crazy good taper on the bracelet. And then the clasp system. Some people will complain that maybe it's a little long, and I agree it is. This one, I think they've changed it. I haven't had any newer ones in a while, but... If you look at the way the uh, oversized knob there fits into the retention piece there, it is very secure and locks in. Easy enough to release though. This one also incorporates the quick release, no tool required adjustment here. It has six slots, so you just put it wherever you need it, snap it down in place, and you are good to go. Nice hardware, screw links. Another little shameless plug. Wya 1.2 screwdriver worked perfect for me to tighten up these screws. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link for that screwdriver. They are probably going to be out of stock though. So, but definitely get one of those if you don't have one. Those are really good. So, all stainless steel obviously and a combination of brushed and polished. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Homer is a good wear test type person for watches in their durability. You can see this one has some marks. No big deal, right? I think this has held up phenomenal for Homer, honestly. There are some scrapes and scratches and stuff like that, but overall the finishing on this is holding up a really good sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert, nice finishing on the bezel as well. You have about just under a six millimeter crown, signed, screw down, and you can see it has a nice shape to it. Flares out a little bit past the crown guards, so you can grab it, no problem. If you look at the dial, it's a black lacquer with applied indices. BGW9, Super Luminova everywhere, so it's going to look bright white right now. And then when we show off the lights, it's going to look like a cool blue. You can see Ocean King print in red, and it says 1,000 foot. And the hour hand is blocking it, but that actually says 304 meters. Let's go ahead and unscrew the crown and move that out of the way so you can see that. These hands are rhodium plated hands, so they are going to not tarnish or anything like that. So you can see the 304 meter, 1,000 feet printed on the dial there. Diamond cut hands, so they're going to be super sharp on the edges. You can see there's like no burrs or anything like that. I did notice a couple little flecks on the underside of the crystal. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them to show, guys. There was a couple of imperfections. There might be something right there, and then I thought there was something over there or over there. That is one of the hardest things to do, just me playing around with modding watches. Now, I don't have a super clean environment like most watchmakers are going to have, but to keep the dust and debris out of the watch when you're assembling is, like, super hard to do. So when you have a gloss black dial like that... It, it's it's going to show. I mean, most watches actually do have some sort of stuff in them if you look close enough. You have a really nice black riot, I guess, if you want to call it that, that's kind of also cut out for the indices. 
it kind of hides in the shadows. You don't really see it unless you look close. Just a beautiful watch overall. Um, I forgot to mention, if you look, there's actually, that should be ceramic. You can see there the little ball detent there for the adjustment piece. That is a ceramic ball. There's ceramic ball bearings, I believe, in the bezel as well. 60 click, very snappy, zero play. I find it sounds a little bit better if you kind of push down and turn. But it's very snappy feeling. So everything lines up perfect there. Let's pop this on wrist. And I mentioned earlier the bracelet is one of the best out there. And that is because it's basically kind of softened. I know a lot of people like uh, will complain that some of the modern Omega have like sharp edges and everything. The Manta has zero sharp edges. Everything is smooth, rounded, softened, polished, all that good stuff. So there you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, the perfect size watch, right? 40 and a half by 48 with female center links for the solid end links. So it is gonna, this bracelet drape is amazing. If you have not experienced a Manta in hand, if you ever get the chance, and you're out and about, maybe at a, a meet or something like that, and somebody's wearing a Manta, see if you can check it out because they are legit really good. They are pricey. That is probably the, the main complaint that I think people are going to have it, because if you go on the Manta website right now, this watch, not this exact one, but the current version of this watch is $2,140, and they don't do discounts. They might have a sale occasionally, but... They don't discount their product because they're making a very good watch. They have, you know, the Ocean King, the was it SkyQuest, the Atlas, the they have a bunch of great models. Here it is next to the Omega Aqua Terra. I mentioned modern Omega. Definitely not on the same playing field, guys. This is literally less than half the price of the Omega. You wouldn't expect it to be. So they have their own little segment of the market, for sure. And they are a solid performer in their category. So definitely check them out. Let me kill the lights so you can check the loom. The movement in this, they're calling it a, I forget, like an M21 or something like that. Uh, but I believe from this generation, I believe it was the Salida SW300, if I'm not mistaken. A nice high-grade model. So excellent application of loom, guys. Plenty visible. Very, very solid performer in the loom department as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, Homer, for sending this in. I'll see you guys on the next vid.